Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 101. In this video, the Sudoku puzzle solving technique will be demonstrated. The Sudoku pattern comes in different types. There are types composed of 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 cells. In this video, we will only concentrate on the 4 cell variety. Here is a list of prerequisite videos for this video. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When searching for a four cell Sudoku, we will search each by value cell. Before we go any further, let's consider some terminology. We are currently highlighting box two with a black outline. Normally, I use the word block instead of the word box. But for this tutorial, I will be using the term box to refer to a three by three section of the grid. We are now going to introduce two new terms to be used in this tutorial series. The first term is called a box row. A box row is a set of three cells inside a 3 by 3 grid section. A box row composed of cells R1, C456 is now outlined. A box row is not to be confused with a Scooby-Doo rut row. Notice how cell 1,5 has the number 4 as a given. Also notice how cell 1,4 and cell 1,6 are open cells. An open cell is one that does not have a given or value currently set in it. Notice how the box row, now outlined, has two open cells. Also notice how the box row in box 2 is shared with the house making up row 1. The next new term to discuss is box column or box call. As you can probably guess, a box call is a set of three cells in a 3x3 three three section of a grid sharing a house with a column. Each 3x3 three three box in a Sudoku grid is composed of three box rows and three box calls. Now that box, box row, and box call have been defined, we update our search algorithm. For each by value cell, we will do four separate searches. For example, consider the by value cell in cell 1, 3. The first search is now outlined. The second search is now outlined. The third search is now outlined. The fourth search is now outlined. We update our notes to show the current by value cell being searched. We begin with the first search now outlined. Next, we confirm the box row we are using has two open cells. In this case, we have exactly two open cells, so we can continue with the next step in the search. Next, we blot out the candidates found in the by value cell from the two open cells in the box row. We determine if we have exactly two candidates remaining in our box row. In this example, we have the three and nine candidates as the only two remaining candidates in our two open cells, so we can proceed with the next step in the search. Next, we look for a second by value cell composed of the two remaining candidates in the other six cells of the box. And we do not find a second by value cell having three and nine as candidates. So we move on to the next search. Next, the second box row search is now outlined. The second search fails because there's only one open cell in the box row, so we continue on to the next search. Next, we begin our third search with by value cell 1, 3. The column and box call used in the third search is now outlined. We confirm the box call has two open cells. We determine we have two remaining candidates from the intersection with the first by value cell. We do not find a second by value cell composed of the two remaining candidates in the other six cells of the box, so we move on to the next search. The fourth and final search with the by value cell 1, 3 is now outlined. The fourth search fails because there's only one open cell in the box call. We move to the next by value cell to search. The first search fails because the box row only has one open cell. 
the second search fails because there is no second buy value sell in the box. The third search with buy value sell 1,7 is now outlined. We confirm we have two open cells in the box call. We determine we have two remaining candidates from the intersection with the first buy value cell. This time, we are successful in finding a second buy value cell in the six remaining cells of the box. The five six candidates in cell 5,9 complete a valid four cell Sudeka pattern. Every Sudeka has two kill zones. The first kill zone is now highlighted in red. As you can see, the first kill zone is the five cells in the column not participating in the four cell Sudeka pattern. In this first kill zone, we target the first buy value cell candidates. The first buy value cell candidates are three and nine. But in this example, the first kill zone does not have any target candidates to kill. As you can see, the second kill zone are the five remaining cells in the box not participating in the four cell Sudika pattern. In the second kill zone, we target the second buy value cell candidates, which in this example are the five and six candidates. So we can target the five in cell four comma nine as a candidate to be killed. Before we remove the target candidate, let's consider the logic for how the four cell Sudika pattern works. We begin by assuming we have a 5 in cell 4, 9. The 5 in cell 4, 9 causes a 6 to be set in cell 5, 9. The 6 in cell 5, 9 causes a 9 to be set in cell 5, 7 and a 3 to be set in cell 6, 7. But now we have a contradiction. Cell 1, 7 is now blank. So we must conclude our original assumption, cell 4, 9 equal to 5, is false. This type of chaining logic works with each target candidate in either of the two Sudika kill zones. If you are interested in this type of chaining logic, take a look at DX Sudoku training video number 83, titled By Value Elimination, Part 1. By the way, this type of chaining sequence of assuming a cell has a particular value is called a forcing chain. There are different types of forcing chains. Another way of thinking about the four cell Sudika is that it is like an XY wing. An XY wing is also known as a bent triple. With a four cell Sudika, what we have is a bent quadruple. We have visually validated the logic and we remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. The next short example shows a special case of the four cell Sudika pattern. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We update our notes to show the current by value cell being searched. We begin with the first search now outlined. Next we confirm the box row we are using has two open cells. We determine we have two remaining candidates from the intersection with the first buy value cell. We successfully find a second buy value cell, so we have found a valid four cell Sudika pattern. We identified the first kill zone, the one and three candidates in the first buy value cell at one comma three are used to identify target candidates in the house making up row one. We identify the second kill zone. The four and nine candidates found in the second buy value cell at 2,5 are used to identify target candidates to kill in the house making up box two. This is not so much a special case, but I just wanted to show you how both kill zones can have target candidates to kill. We visually confirm the logic and we remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 101. Please support DX Sudoku. Thank you for watching.